everybody, Coach Morrow here. This is a, just a quick video I decided to make for you guys because I got a, a bunch of requests from uh, from uh, Tennis Vault members that are beginning in the sport actually and uh, true beginners that are getting familiarized with the equipment and everything and uh, they asked me how to wrap the over tape grip on the racket. They get in trouble wrapping it around and it becomes a uh, too, too short or you know it's, it doesn't wrap right uh, they just wanted to, me to try to help them out with that so I want to give you guys a real quick a quick uh, tour on the, on, the, on, the, on the grip change okay so when you buy the thing you're gonna have that tape that is like a electrical tape type thing you know uh, usually black it could be colorful too depending on the grip kind and uh, you gotta save that guys don't throw that away because you're gonna need that on the end uh, to, to, to wrap up the job and then uh, you unravel the tape and straighten it out, you know, and sometimes the tape comes with a little plastic film over it. You want to take that out, you know, you don't wrap your, 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 your racket with the, with the overgrip with the plastic film. You got to peel that off. So once you get the tape ready here, you got to find the end of the tape. There's two ends, right? So you got to find the end that has a little part that's sticky. In my case here, it's this one. This side is sticky. The other one isn't. So it's easier to start with a side that's sticky because then you put it on the racket and it doesn't move around. So here you go, let me see if I can get a close-up of this for you guys. And uh, what I'm going to do is put the tape right on the edge here on the very top and put my thumb over it. And then I'm going to pull it to the right. So I'm a right-handed guy so I'm going to hold the racket with my left hand and I'm going to work the tape with the right hand going that way. Going to my right, going around this way. So. What you want to do is overlap the tape as you go around it only by a little amount, not too much, not too little. If you, if you go over too much every time you go over, it's going to be, you're going to end up with too short of a grip here and it's not going to cover all the way down. You know, you, to cover all the way down, you need to overlap only by about a quarter of the width that the tape has. So if you divide your tape in half and then divide it again, you're going to have like four parts. That's about, about how much you put on top of each other as you go around like this. So you hold the racket with these four fingers and then your thumb on top holding the tape as you go around. So you pull it a little bit and then you put your thumb here and then you spin the racket and then you keep spinning it and you keep spinning. You're spinning the racket with your left hand and the right hand is just laying down the grip. Okay, here we go. Let's try. Keep going down and keep going down and make sure that you give it a little pull too. If you put it like soft and gentle like this, eventually it moves around. So you want to give it a little tug here and stretch it a little bit as you lay it down. And then you keep working your way up on the shaft of the racket, on the grip, towards the middle of the racket. Remember I said overlapping by about a quarter of the tape in terms of the width and uh, Pretty soon here I'll be ready to close the deal here on top with a little black tape that I already saved here that came with it on the package. So here I am as you see I'm twisting the racket around with my left hand and I'm just pulling it with my right the thumb on top to guide me here where I want it to go and uh, got all the way up here. Some people like to hit two handers you know so uh, you want to make sure that your grip comes all the way up here so when you grip the racket with two hands you know you got both hands on the grip so then on the end you hold the the tip with your thumb and you just nail down the, the little electric tape here on the end and uh, there you go you got your job done so uh, I hope it's helped you guys a little bit out there that uh, have been like in doubt exactly how to put the grip on here we go we got it done nice and smooth if it's not tight enough it moves around if you try to tighten it up too much and pull it too hard you might break it as you do it so uh just with a couple of uh two or three practice times i'm sure you're gonna get the hang of it all right cheers get the good grip out there so you got no more excuses even if your hand is sweaty then go out there and get the job done guys cheers coach morrow it's a wrap i'll see you guys next time take care signing off bye bye